cash flow forecasting and working capital igcsc business 0450 crazy igcsc so this is the syllabus for it we will learn the importance of cash and cash flow forecasting and the meaning of working capital and the importance of it so here are some definitions you need to know from this chapter first is cash cash is a liquid asset immediately available for the business to use and spend cash flow is the money going in and out of the business over a period of time so in this definition the main keywords are in and out of the business and over a period of time you have to mention these in your definition to score full 2 marks in your business paper then cash flow forecast which is the estimate of the future cash inflows and outflows of the business and shows expected balance at the end of each month working capital is the capital or the money available for a business to pay for its day to day expenses problems of having too little cash first is you cannot pay employees and suppliers your production of goods will stop because you'll not be able to buy any raw materials also there will be liquidity problems because business will stop and they will sell their assets to pay the debts cash inflow is when there is money coming into the business and examples of cash inflow include sale of products and services because when you're selling goods you're getting uh, cash as return then money received from the bank loans and sale of assets also capital raised from selling shares cash outflow is when the money is going out of the business examples include purchasing of stock or inventory so to purchase stock you're paying money and then your cash is going out of the business buying assets such as buildings machinery etc employee wages and salaries so when you're giving your employees your their wages or salaries you are spending money so money is going out of the business which is known as cash outflow why are cash flow forecasts needed first it is needed to start up the business second to show bank manager to get bank loan approved so when you want a bank loan you are supposed to show the bank manager first your business plan then is your uh, cash flow forecast also it is required to manage your cash flow of the business so businesses should not have too much of cash in their bank account because it can be used in much better ways like expanding the business or investing so there are methods to solve the short term cash flow problems and we will look at those methods first is to apply for a bank loan so businesses can quickly borrow money from the bank but they will have to pay interest for the amount they are borrowing secondly it is to delay or cancel plans to purchase new equipment so this way they will reduce their cash outflow but it will be bad for the business in the long term as there will be less machineries which means machineries are more efficient and will be less efficiency in the business third it is purchasing supplies on credit so this means which uh, the business will be paying their suppliers at a later date which will delay the cash outflow and that time or period may be allowing the business to gain more cash inflow so some suppliers some suppliers might not allow this and may only give cash discount to customers who do not buy on credit so they can be disadvantaged to it as well then only sell in cash and not credit so businesses can choose to only sell to customers in cash and this will mean that the business will get their money immediately and the customers will buy from competitors that sell on credit this means there is a drawback because the customers will not get a period of time to pay the money they may go and switch to the other competitors and that way the business will lose their potential customers to competitors now the formula for calculating the working capital is current assets and current liabilities and in your exam you may be asked to calculate the opening balance closing balance of a cash flow forecast 
working capital is needed to pay employee wages and salaries to figure out if the business is in a good financial position in order for them to purchase supplies which are on sale and an example is suppliers may give discounts to customers that pay by cash and not credit then it is to ensure that they have enough cash for day to day expenses and to pay the debts so this is the end of our video thank you for watching crazy igcse please do subscribe